exciting is this? We are headed down the Follow That Dream Parkway. In July and August of 1961, Elvis Presley filmed his ninth major motion picture, Follow That Dream. Several locations in the air were utilized, the majority of scenes being shot just a few miles ahead at Bird Creek Bridge, which is where we're headed. All right. So I was super excited when I found out that we were going to be near uh, the areas where they filmed Follow That Dream. But uh, we're going to head this way. Um, we got a couple more locations today, but this is the first one, and uh, we can't wait for to have you along with us. So we'll see you in a second. All right, so here's our first location. This is uh, the car coming down the road to where he ran out of gas and uh, where Pops ran out of gas. I'm sorry, Pop ran out of gas and he was coming down that road. It looks like, I'm sure it's a lot different now. <laughs> oh, wait, look, you can line up that tree right there. And it looks like that's it right there. How cool is that? You see that, babe? Yeah. Oh, she's way down there. But anyway, so this was all sand. So from my understanding is that when they made the movie, they cleared all this area out. And they actually had locals and everything come in here and um, help put in sand. And they removed, they actually added palm trees. And they said that a lot of the palm trees died. So they had to paint them to make them look like they were still alive. But it's hard to believe that this was the area... But yeah, they came up through here. That's pretty cool. But I wonder if it's some of the original sand. <laughs> so oh. let's see what else. I don't want to go too far back here. I don't know what kind of wildlife is back here. But here's a shot of the bridge, and if you can see it, right it looks a little different. It looks like yes, right here. Yeah, I guess that's looks like they put that area in, but that area looks kind of. Yeah, those are some of the trees they planted. Connect that. Connect that? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so like right here. And then in here they built the homestead. The homestead that they built, I actually here is now at a sheriff's, uh, what are you, a youth ranch in Live Oak. Uh, back now. What? What do you see? Oh, that's the people across the bridge. But. Yeah, they dismantled the the little dock that they built, but this was all yeah, all sand. And it, a lot has happened in 60 years. I, I wonder if this was part of it. One of the maybe, maybe one of the the poles they tore down. I don't know. Mm. No telling. Yeah, 61. But all these trees were replanted, I guess. Birds back there. Oh, we're being watched. Let's head up to the bridge where Elvis was sitting. All right, so this is Elvis sitting on the the bridge here. It's, it looks a little different. It's curved a little bit more. And it looks like maybe this is all new. I bet you this is all new. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah, look, well, look at the old bridge here. See the different colors? See how this is right here? Yeah, that looks like the old bridge. So, this would have been the spot where Elvis would have been sitting on the old bridge. Sure is pretty. And then, no. Ooh, jumping fish. Oh yeah, look, look at this. This is the whole... Why is there a fish right there? Huh? Oh, there's a fish hanging on the line. Look at it. Well, look, look at the whole line there from people casting. Look, they're sure casting their lines. They're all getting stuck up here. Years and years of it. <laughs> there's a dead fish up there. Look at that. So that was the old homestead. It's all grown over. Yeah. But I bet you the water's grown over a little bit. I would say so. 
So it probably was more of right here. Yeah. Yeah. But all oh, that whole area was all sand. Yeah. And uh, they, I guess they replanted all the trees. I don't know. I don't. None of the trees look recognizable. You would think some of the palm trees. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. I mean that area. If you look over behind Elvis's head, right there. So and here's another shot here of pops pop coming across the bridge right there you can see him coming across so anyway but this is this is the area where the most of the film took place and this bridge and uh, there's a lot of stories that people had when they were talking uh, I was reading online about how a lot of the people would come by and they would they, they hired people to do fake fishing and they would catch rubber fish they paid them $20 just to fake fish or to catch fake fish <laughs> so but that's it um, and then we're gonna head down the road to uh, one of the other locations real quick all right we're at another site this one I did not know this was here but apparently there was a trooper that was killed by some escaped felons back in 1973 in this area it's very sad um, in my respects uh, this was erected in 2010 he died in uh, just two days before Christmas 1973 all right so from watching a lot of videos and uh, doing a little research, it's said that this road that I'm on right now is the road that they turned off on into the government area. Um, let's take a look at the screenshots I have. So here's one. I think this would be them going... Well, that's a different direction, so it's the back side of the car. So they would be coming down this road. This is the corner of Sun Coast, and I believe it's called North Basswood. So either they would have come up here and turned down into this little area, which was uh, the government road. Let me see if I have that correct. I mean, in a way, you could almost see how this was the road because look the open area and that palm tree like it's literally like there's a pole there and then the palm tree right there and then this is all open area and then you look in the, the picture look it's like dirt right there and this was in 1973 when this happened so this area has probably been the same this happened in 1973 so and this I mean 10 years later I mean the area Wait, he died in 1973? yeah right here on this spot yeah well that came they put that up in 2010 but i mean i imagine that was open area he got shot yeah but this is where pop drove the car over the uh <laughs> i'm sure that was not there but uh but that would have been the road right there it's kind of like a it's kind of like a three-way uh, it's curving down here you can turn right over here and then you come down here but of course this doesn't lead anywhere to where they actually were because we came from over there. So, movie magic. This is the shot of them coming from the other direction, so you can probably see if he's coming down this little corner road here. He would have come down here, and then he kept driving straight down through there into restricted areas. You all right? Okay, this is a busy road. This is our final location for today. Um, we were going to go to the old courthouse, but it's closed, so we couldn't get inside. There was no exterior shots, and um, I really want to get out to Live Oak to that ranch to see if that uh, house is still there. But if you can see behind me, this this has changed a lot from um, uh, this one particular scene where Elvis, uh, I'm sorry, Toby, goes to the bank to get some money. And while he's in the bank, he uh, while he's in the bank somehow he ends up with a gun they think he's robbing the bank the bank manager played by Howard McNear who was mm -hmm. Floyd the barber from Andy Griffin passes out and they think he's holding him hostage it's an hysterical scene but this was the scene I'm going to try and see if I can line up some shots but this is what I think is the bank I did a lot of research and I came up with 203 East Silver Springs Boulevard and uh, I'm not 100% but some of the things look right and um, this also is a very, very cool spot because not only dealing with the movie, but with music history. There's a, there's a story that... Oh, that's a loud truck. There's a story that Tom Petty 
I think he was 10 years old and a family member was working on the set of Follow the Dream in Ocala mm -hmm. and Tom Petty actually met Elvis oh, that's cool. and he became a huge Elvis fan from that moment on I guess I don't know the whole story but yeah. it's kind of a cool musical story and yeah. it would happen at this spot so let's take a look at some of the shots and line them up All right, so this is gonna be a tricky shot. It's a busy road, but in the shot of the bank, the whole building has changed because Elvis would have come down this road in his car. And then I don't think any of this was here. Uh, any of this, it's not an, I mean, you can find the inside shots, but he would have driven here. And then what would happen is I think he parked like right in this spot, but these columns weren't here. But the door, which I guess had steps to it. Uh, I don't see the steps anymore, but this window, and I'm going to add the shot. But this window right here, was that still there? It's a different style, but like I said, all these columns were gone. Um, and but. The, the bank was right here. This was the bank entrance. So my guess is this was the street with the parking meters. And I um, imagine this building is probably, oh, well, that's no longer the entrance anymore. So this would have been the entrance right here. Yeah, this used to be the entrance. I can see it. So this right here is the one thing, if you look, they're in the entrance to the bank. But look at the, the roof here. And then the windows right here. Look at this building right there. You can see it right across. And they're standing, oh, lost it. But yeah, they're standing across the street from this building. It looks pretty new at the time, but this looks like the corner of the building. And you can, you can kind of make out the little grooves here. But this looks a little different. I can't tell what this is. Um, but might have been an entrance. I don't know. Not 100%. That's cool. It lined up. It, yeah, but. That's a better shot anyway. Okay? Yeah. Over here. So, just a, it's just a, a thought. It's changed a lot. All right. So, we're going to head home. This is a neat experience. Um, like I said, I mean, I, I did a little research and I'm hoping some of these shots line up. Um, it's really cool some of the stories if you go online you can see some of the stories that people had interactions with Elvis and making the movie um, in Ocala Yankee Town Crystal River like uh, just it's so cool and again it's one of my favorite Elvis movies it's a funny movie I, did you watch it yet yes okay so um, but definitely definitely watch it if you're an El if you like Elvis or if you even if you don't like Elvis just give it a shot it's it's a kind of a comedic role for him um, and actually, it's one of the few movies where he didn't dye his hair black. Uh, I think he had his natural hair color in it, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, the, we're going to close this one out. I hope you like it. If, you, if anybody has any pictures or ideas about the, uh, the, 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 the some of the other locations, or if this was right, or if I'm in the general area, and also the the shack that was donated to the, the sheriff ranch in Live Oak. If anybody has any pictures of that, or if that's even still there, or where is it, um, please comment below and let me know. Um, or if you have any stories, um, please let me know. So, but we're gonna check out and head home. Thank you for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming. So anyway, you got anything to say? No. Okay, no. All right, until next time. Bye. Bye.